you leave me for some time. Today's topic, the first 10 15 minutes, it is like just the revision of what we did, and then we will go all the way into the depth of all the examples. Hmm, we'll talk about the new diabetes. Regarding the you have the very quick review of the emails. One email in which uh, I have already replied to you. Your CRP level is very high, C reactive C reactive protein, which is more than 45. Now, normally it should be less than 6. Right? When it is more than 10, that react indicates some inflammatory processes are going on. So, if any doctor has said that 45 is okay, it is not at all okay. I have already replied to you. Just take care of it. For everyone, C-reactive protein, that is basically that protein which normally remains into the cell. It comes into the serum only when there is some inflammatory processes going on. Inflammatory process or any of the tissue damage process. Tissue damage processes are like carcinoma. Right? So it is not so that in every case, I mean, if CRP is high, it is that like cancer. No, it is not so. CRP independently, it indicates that there is some tissue damage. It could be inflammation, it could be making any other metabolic process. Right? But if CRP is high, we need to ignore it and we need to investigate it properly as per the symptoms. Okay, so then there are other, other emails also, but we'll, today we'll be discussing those emails at the end. Right? So let's focus on our today's topic and our today's topic. Uh, all, 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 all the questions which are not related to the topics will be taken up. Otherwise, it happens like as as well, two three emails were there that almost forty five minutes passed last time in answering those questions. So that is and that is true. That is true. So that's the topic for today. That is the receptors, and we have already talked about receptors. So we'll briefly talk about it. The, the part which we have already discussed, and then we'll be going in depth about it. As already said, that the receptors, this is that topic which will be helpful in physiology, it will be helpful in pharmacology, it will be helpful in neurology, medicine, diagnosis, everything. So let's start. So we started our journey with the cell membrane. Right? We started our journey with the cell membrane, and we said that this cell membrane is. Phospholipid, and it is a binding phospholipid, and these were all integrated proteins which we were talking about. So these were the receptors, right? And these receptors, one of the receptors which we'll be talking about in depth today, and that is a seven pass receptor. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pass. So three, four, five, six, seven. Now it is right. So this is like a seven pass receptor. In this seven pass receptor, so it is seven pass. The protein which is used is guanosine, right? So that's so we also call it as G protein coupled receptor. G protein. So today this G protein will be discussed at length um, for all its timers. Also called as the integrated protein because we cannot separate it, and right? we cannot separate it if we try to separate it, it will be destroyed. And 
all these proteins, I mean, all these receptors, they have one important structure which is present over here, which will be coming and affecting. And this, this is the site right, where the ligand would come. Right, where the ligand would come. And this ligand will do what? This ligand will stimulate it. Now, stimulation can be in positive way as well as negative. Right now, we'll be discussing in a positive way. But do keep in mind that things in our body, there is always a balance. That balance, what is called, is the balance between sympathetic, sympathetic and the parasympathetic system. Parasympathetic system. Sympathetic and parasympathetic systems, they are always in amazing balance. Important. By default, it is the parasympathetic process which is in action. Parasympathetic process is rest and digest. So our body is interested in that yes, things should be good, safe and comfortable. But if there are few people in which the sympathetic is active, right? Always angry. True? So sympathetic is when it, it is stress associated. So it is fight, fright. So in such cases, the body's response will be different. It is like increased blood pressure, increased heart rate, right? No need to digest the things right now. So all those things which are related to stress, that is the sympathetic system. And this is this is the cool system, calm and cool system. So this is the parasympathetic. It means if anything is stimulated, so there must be a system which should say that okay, subside. Stop, right? Otherwise, so it will keep on increasing on and on and on. It's going on a cycle. So that's what I wanted to say. And today you'll be getting a clear idea of how these receptors they come into picture. So we were talking about the ligand, right? and that ligand, ligand could be, it could be any, could be drug, right? It could be a neurotransmitter. Now over here. Say sympathetic and parasympathetic system, they both have different transmitters, right? Over here, when we talk about adrenaline, right? Adrenaline rush, right? There are movies also adrenaline rush. That means everything is excited. And this is acetyl choline, right? So acetyl is cool, right? So acetyl choline. So that means that neurotransmitters are parasympathetic. So they both are ligands. But the only difference is that their receptors would be different. There would be receptor for sympathetic, there would be receptor for parasympathetic. Right? So drug, neurotransmitters, and there are hormones, there are poisons, right? Or what's called it's the toxins. These are all classical things. Well, there are few receptors which are sensitive to voltage. There are few receptors which are sensitive to some ions, right? Ions. So even they can affect. But we'll discuss all those things in complexity at a little bit. But right now, we'll just understand that ligand means something which is coming and stimulating our receptor. We learned one more concept. That for three types of substances, there is not much of the problem. They cross, they cross cell membrane. Easily, right? they cross cell membrane. So, which are these? Which are those who are bacha, right? Small molecular weight. So, no one argues with them to let them go. So, small molecular weight was one. Those who are very loving to lipid, so lipid soluble, lipid soluble, that's right. And the third, who is unbiased, neither positive nor negative. So which are neutral, that means who are non-ionized, right? non that means those who are not charged, uncharged, exactly. We'll also, we can also call them, they are non-polar, right? or when they, when they are uncharged, exactly. So all of them, they mean the same. The trouble is only for those who are very to weight towers. those who are large molecular weight, those who are not loving the lipid, Right? or those who are ionized, for all those cases, yes, we need to one. Right? All right. 
So now we move on back to that who are that those who are say they can pass easy, those who are really you know, small minds in the and and when they really affect, yes, they will be able to be able to affect the media systems of the body. And then there are certain hormones which are large molecular weight, so they can't enter. They will just send the message inside, and the whole process will really start working. In the receptor, I just divide it into three parts so that it will help us for the next time. One that when we say that it is integrated, this is what we'll be discussing the GPU. So this is GPCR, G protein coupled cell. Just keep in mind that this would be stimulatory, so we'll write S for it, and then it can be inhibitory, so we'll be writing I for that. Because they are G proteins, so we'll be writing GS and GI. Then this is seven pass receptor, then there would be something like one pass receptor. One pass receptor. One pass receptors, in most of the cases, the enzymes would be acting on them. And then there would be few ion channels. So, entire game that would be between them. Just keep a chat on. Ah, GPCR is G protein. Coupled receptor. receptor. And G stands for guanosine. And the ion channels. So, those ion channels which will be permitting specific ions in and out. Right? So, in or out. So, maybe sodium, potassium, right? Like last time we talked about sodium potassium complex. Right? So once this is done, we now move on to our most important part. That when we say receptors, <coughs> so later on, right now don't remember, just keep in mind that later on we'll be talking about some receptors would be which are sensitive to voltage. If the voltage changes, they start working. If the temperature changes, they start working. If the pressure changes, they start working. Right. The touch receptors, that's how you feel, right? A light touch, a hard touch, right? A pinch, pain. Now, in last last year's batch, we gave it a name. We gave it a name. And we gave the name that this particular protein is like bilo. The bilo. Right now, see what it does. So this this particular. This particular group, we just draw this right? and we draw it with the image. One, two, three, four, five. So here it is. Now the ligand has come. Ligand. So anyone who is coming and is stimulating it at this point. So this ligand is, is something it is telling that okay, do, do some, some action inside. So that's why this is called as the first messenger. First messenger. So will there be anything like second messenger? Yes. So here, now we just zoom this. This is the action site. This is the action site. This is the site where 
reaction will be given. So we zoom this thing. Right? So this small portion, we make it big. We make it big. Now it's this portion. That's the action side. Now in action side, we said that this is G protein, so we just need the G protein. This is inside the G protein. Now there are, this is the trimeric protein. It's called as the trimeric protein. Trimeric is that it has got three components. Three. Try. So naming them alpha, naming them alpha, beta, gamma. Easy. One, two, three. And then they all are connected. They are connected. We are dealing with stimulatory protein. So just over here, we'll just add S. At this point of time, even if you feel like that, what is the stimulatory and inhibitory and don't want to add S? But just understand that this is one protein because this is high load. That means it will, it will make the malabdehika. Once it will go inside, it will start working, it will do so many things. So, this is the G protein, alpha, beta, gamma, these are the three punters, right? They are sitting, relaxing, right now, not doing anything. And, and this is what is called as the resting phase. The resting phase. It is resting. This entire thing is like a story, right? You will, you will love it. And it is connected with what? It is connected with G, D, P. Guanosine diphosphate. Right? Is guanosine diphosphate. diphosphate. So this guanosine diphosphate, when GDP is attached, right? They are like bichara gari, right? So they say, they are not doing it. So this is the resting state. And now comes, now comes the message from the top. That message comes from the top. Action, right? Why the action? It is because of that ligand that has stimulated right inside. And here, there is action that is inside. So here, now at action site, See something happens. Right? Now you know the action site is what? Action site is that inside part. Right? It is this inside part. So here is the alpha, that's the beta, that's the gamma. They are connected, forming the trimeric structure. And it was connected to <coughs> GD. Right? They were having pola pesa. Now came, because of this action, one phosphate came and get connected. So this, when the GDP was there, right, life was cool. It was the resting phase. Now they have got money. So this GDP now becomes GTP. Now it is GTP, right? So then it is GTP. Now it is no more resting. It is now the active state. Now it is the, the active state. But this, this is a new change. Now the GTP. Now, as soon as the money comes, this alpha, right? Alpha, he is the most powerful. Right? These two are the bichare chota, right? They're they're juniors. This alpha, alpha tells why a pesa agya, right? Bye bye. Right? So this GTP, he takes this GTP and gets separate. And he tells that now, right? And he tells bye to this beta and gum. This step is so important because maximum drugs, and you will part of much, maximum drugs act here at this point. Right, this is all happening inside. It's all happening inside. Now, who was our stimulator? We said that this is we are talking about the stimulator. Right? 
right? Stimulatory GPCR. Stimulatory GPCR. So GPCRs, these, these are activated by something powerful adrenaline, right? So adrenaline is sympathetic. Adrenaline, so it it increases blood pressure, it increases heart rate, everything is increased. Which point is not understood. More than this, it cannot be simplified. Because we need one thing is I'll I'll explain this thing again, but in the benefit of everyone, right? You see, this this is like a continuous process. So I'm going pretty slow. You can't repeat everything right from the beginning. So please pay very proper attention, extremely properly. Right? Pay full attention. Because otherwise, we have done what? Only this, this was the one step, right? Inactive state, as it is stimulated, this GDP becomes GTP, gone assigned triphosphate, and this alpha it takes GTP along with it and gets detached with beta and gamma. That's it. This was the only thing. Only this much was repeated. I mean, it's done. Right? So, please, please pay very proper attention. Otherwise, it would happen. Listen, what would happen? Right? Those who are understanding it properly now, once the cycle would break, so it will put permanent, permanent gap in the understanding. Let this entire thing go as a flow. I'll I'll keep on repeating certain important steps by myself, but we'll not be reverting back to the original, back to square z square one, and then starting all over again. So, right, pay full attention. It was not at all complicated. This is GPCR, right? When I say bilog protein, that means this is like an active thing. Stimulatory thing which we are talking about. This will increase the heart rate, this will increase the blood pressure, right? Person would be sweating, all those things are going to start. That's what we are understanding. Great. Yeah, that thank you. So this is seven pass receptor stimulation is over here, and this is ligand, so that's why over here it will be adrenaline. Adrenaline is a neurotransmitter for sympathetic, right? Sympathetic is for stress. When the person is stressed, blood pressure increases. Right? Heart rate increases, digestive system is said, don't digest right now anything. We need blood, muscles they contract. Right? So, how all those things occur? So, here is the action site. At action site, we have got alpha, beta, and gamma. This is the trimeric protein. This is the, these are the three friends that right? who are living together happily. They are resting right? and, and they are playing cards, doing aram. Right? They have got the GDP. GDP is restricted, small amount of money, and that is the guanosine diphosphate. One day, right, lottery lagi, lottery lagi, phosphate aya, phosphate came, right, and this GDP became GTP, guanosine triphosphate. When it becomes guanosine triphosphate, this is like a lottery, right? They say, wow, wow, itna paise. This alpha one, alpha one, jump mark, GTP taken, right? Took the GTP and he said, bye to beta and gamma. Bye-bye. Right? right? So GTP and alpha. Now this GTP alpha thinks of that will do business. Right? He feels like that. Now this is excited state, right? Active state or the excited state. Many times you'll be using this word. Excited state. Money has come. Excited excited state. Money has come. So, so it comes over here and all was because of the adrenaline. Now this GTP alpha, our game is now at this point. GTP plus alpha. It tells us, let's meet a big boss. So they go to, and this big boss is who? This big boss is also a type of thing. Right? And it is also a surface protein he's sitting. They go to him, big boss. This big boss tells no problem. Now he is not less, he is another fraud. So 
His name is Adenyl Cyclase. His name is Adenyl Cyclase. He tells no problem, right? You have got GTP. This big was not caring for this alpha. Right? There was ATP. Right? There is ATP energy. It gets converted. He converts it into cyclic AM. You can say it like that this was the gold. He converts it into this. And then he uses that rubies. Adenyl cyclase. Adenyl cyclase is like a, this is a protein. Right? This is a protein which will release this is adenyl cyclase. This becomes active. Right? This is an enzyme, cyclase. Whenever anything ends with is, that means it is a is an enzyme. So it becomes activated. Why it activated? Obviously, now he has got the money. Right now, he has got this phosphate. Cellalia, na? alpha cellalia. Right? So now he is activated. He used that money. Right? ATP. So he got activated adenyl cyclase. This adenyl cyclase it worked on ATP and it converted into cyclic. <coughs> cyclic AMP is actually the real currency of the body. This is what is utilized for all the processes. That's the reason cyclic AMP is also called as the second messenger. Second messenger. You'll read in Guyton that way back, those scientists, they were just thinking like, okay, we just put adrenaline over here and there is increased cyclic KMP in the cell. So they said this is messenger one, this is messenger two. They were not knowing anything about what is happening. Gradually all these processes came out, right? And they were able to figure it out that this is what is really happening. So adenyl cyclase, just understand that this is one protein. I mean, adenyl cyclase is already there. What is in inactive? It gets activated by this phosphate which is picked up from GTP. So when GTP and alpha, that complex, it goes and attaches adenyl cyclase, it becomes happy. It takes the money. <laughs> After taking the money, you know, it tells Bosca boss. Bosca boss is coming. So till this point, everything okay? Everything good? Any, any problem? Any trouble? ATP, ATP, this is into the cell. Because it would be produced by mitochondria. Mitochondria is our power, power, powerhouse. It keeps on making ATP. Right? So when we eat, there is a complete metabolism. How the ATPs are prepared by mitochondria. So mitochondria are like they eat two ATP and they make 20 ATP. Right? 
because in order to run the generator which produces electricity you need some electricity so other secondary messenger yes second second messenger not secondary second messenger number 2 messenger number 2 so this adenyl this cyclic amp is the second messenger this is cyclic amp is the second messenger yeah so you can you can think it like that what cyclic amp now if you have got 2000 rupees note so so difficult to difficult to spend now it breaks into 50 50 rupees again. now it can be spent easy so cyclic amp exactly like that so it is adenosine monophosphate right so now they can be utilized easy so that's why this is called as the real currency real value so all all good right we have reached till the point of cyclic amp no don't confuse it with my right now with calcium don't confuse with calcium because if you will confuse it with calcium then it would happen like that there would be because this will be affecting the ions also no side side tracks right simply cyclic amp you will understand why cyclic amp is important so this is the money right so far All in good. Okay. So now the cyclic AMP is ready. Cyclic AMP is not se bhara hua. Currency not se bhara hua suitcase. That's right. Adenyl cyclase reacts with ATP to build cyclic AMP. Perfect. Perfect. Right. So this is now, and we said that this cyclic AMP is like rupees. Right? Now this not se bhara hua bag. This cyclic AMP. We say to Jao, send it to one other boss, and this is PK. Someone gave the name Anna, PK Anna, and this was these are the names given by my some very good. So they said that his name is Anna. Fine, and the name of this Anna is Jia, and this girlfriend's name. So this is. so this pk is basically protein kinase protein kinase again enzyme so this cyclic a it goes and it activates it activates this protein kinase protein kinase now this is in its real sense big boss so that's why we give that manna what it really does is it stimulates otherwise this protein kinase is sleeping is not doing anything this stimulates ke jago jago paisa aaya right so he said ke chalo let's start the business apna kaam karte hain right regularly so the work which was not getting done it gets started what is the work so this is the work gi 1 2 and G I A three functions they are done by protein kinase in presence of cyclic A. Right. The first is what gene. Right, gene. It will activate the gene by phosphorylation. So phosphates they are now sitting. it is done by cyclic amp and the protein kinase would stimulate protein kinase will start this process and that is what is called as the phosphorylation gene itself won't be able to do it but in presence of this protein kinase protein kinase right it breaks the protein so it knows that how what to do so that my gene will start work that phosphate they are added and then this gene will be act, acting on the nucleus right gene is what gene is basically a blueprint right which protein to make which protein not to make and how much to make destroy make all and all these things they are storing to the dna right? so over there in nucleus right, there is dna and 
over there where all the blueprints are laid, this will say can change is made and the gene. This is what is called as the genomic expression. Genomic expression changed. Now let me explain it with the one simple example. Yeah, phosphorylation always means activation of process. Perfect. Phosphorylation is always activation. Right? So it's always activation. So here is, there is one book in which certain steps are written and then this protein kinase comes in picture and it tells that let's change it, right? Let, let's change. We now need to make muscles more powerful. So tell the body that to make more, more protein, tell the body that yes, muscles should work and give them this, right? So all those things which are to be done, they are to be, that message is to be sent to everyone. So this altered message that is given to this nucleus. So that is what leads to genomic expression. These, these genomic expression, they control everything. So when we'll go into the embryology, so it controls the color of the eye, color of the face, red color of the skin, right? How person speaks, how person thinks, how person's the physical structure, everything is controlled by these genes. Everything is controlled. So that's why sometimes you say, hey, you look exactly like your mother or you look exactly like your father. Right? Sometimes you are confused right? because their voice are so similar. It happens. I mean, say, my bua, she used to always confuse between me and my father. So many times I used to talk with her. Ah, bol. So, so then, are bhai, ye hue. So then I used to say, mm, mm. later on she, she figured out, Yacha, when he tells me, no, the means is came and so, right, those things. But all those things, thanks to these genes, those genes, right, you must must have seen that if you compare your looks with your mother or father, you'll find there are so many similarities. Thanks. They, they keep on working even for the entire life. Right? Even your muscles, your body, what is for, everything is controlled by these genes. So they make these changes. Am I audible? Hello, hello, hello. Is there any? Sir, you are audible. Okay, fine, fine. So, here it is coming back. Ion channels. Which ion channels? Well, it depends upon what we are doing, but they will open. But in this case, it
I don't know. Ah, I, I'll, I'll repeat that. Seems. I'll go back to this iron part. So gene, we said that it repeats, it, it, it changes that genomic expression. Genomic expression. The second is the iron channel. The iron channels, same apna protein kinase. That protein kinase, it will switch on those calcium channels. Right? It will switch on, it will act on those ion channels. It acts on gene, it acts on iron. So it will switch on those ion channels. And these ion channels, they are specifically the calcium channels. Right? Not any other channel, but the calcium channel. So these calcium channels, so the calcium will start coming in. When the calcium comes in, that is what is responsible, as we'll see in muscle, that is what is responsible for contraction. So whether it is heart or it is our muscles, they will start contracting. So this means, yes, that is true, because we want to fight. When we want to fight, the muscles should be contracting. Yes, they should not be relaxed. But here, you do. Recording in progress. So, the ion channels, they will start working. And when the ion channels will come, so a large amount of calcium would come. When the calcium is coming, so it will lead to contraction. Right? So, these ion channels will be turned on. Make sense? And the third thing is, here it is A. Right? So, we will just write it like enzyme. Right. Basically, I know the spelling will be E, right. but for our, our understanding, right, we are just keeping it. So, it will be activating the enzyme. So, these three things occur gene, iron, and enzyme. This thing would be true for the entire body. Right. Whenever the receptor is activated, and whenever I am I am sending this file immediately after completion. So, if you are not having the link, just send a mail to me and send me the link. Or I'll paste the link over here. Also. Uh, I mean, let's, let's come back to this. So, it happens that this enzyme, right? So, this enzyme will start working. And this enzyme will do what? It will be, it will be acting on all the basic metabolic processes like when we want to fight we need glucose right? we need glucose so that would be processed we need calcium so that would be processed so here our protein kinase protein kinase is a very dynamic enzyme right? it will make changes into the gene it will make changes into the iron, it will make changes into the enzymes so that the basal metabolic rate and everything starts rising. Right? So the body is ready to fight. That's the function. That's the function. Now, interestingly, only one molecule from the top of adrenaline came. It generated that alpha GTP. This alpha GTP, it acted on that adenyl cyclase, uh, uh, adenyl cyclase, right? Adenyl, adenyl cyclase, cyclase. This adenyl cyclase, it activated protein kinase, and this protein kinase, it acted on so many areas, right? It acted on gene, it acted on ion channels, so many ion channels they opened. It acted on enzyme and that enzyme went and it started acting on so many parts of the body. So here, if you see what is happening, 
it is actually activating multiple layers and that's why this system is also called as the versatile versatile means it is acting on acting on one and its effect is going on so many areas versatile biological amplification setup this is versatile biological amplification setup for the system so this is what is getting done so small stimulus and it is making major changes and when we say sympathetic right so this is what is happening to that sympathetic system adrenaline adrenaline also called as that epinephrine right epinephrine or adrenaline or noradrenaline which is called as the norepinephrine so they all are sympathetic neurotransmitters and they will lead to increased heart rate now it makes sense because this will go and it will go to heart it will say okay calcium channels open calcium channels open calcium duh, 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 calcium will go inside and heart will pump right increase blood pressure how this is the artery this is the artery then say oh all these muscles contract and okay? they will contract caliber is less now caliber is less caliber is less amount of blood remains the same so the load was big now the load is less traffic increase so pressure increased right affects cns right so there would be anger right there would be anxiety and see it in neuro how it happens then sweating all those sweat glands they will be active so in other organs the fight that's what it happens now mean time we have we have forgotten that bichara gdp and alpha who is sitting and crying right so what he does is he goes back to your old friends meet her and yeah, they are sitting over there So in say, "Kitcha lo, I'm back." Now they are so bhola. They say, "Kya cha thi kya cha? Chalega, right?" And this is what happens. Again, they say, "Kitcha lo, the GDP, right? Our resting phase, right?" And they will say, "This is alpha. This is beta. This is gamma." Connected, connected, and again back to that magic light. Things, but this alpha is high. When again the stimulus comes, the same story gets. Again, when that stimulus comes, that GDP, if it becomes GDP, he says, "Arey, ar chalo, bye bye." Right, and once again the GDP, right, once again the alpha, it will say, "Let's go to business." Right, it will go to the adrenal cyclase. Adrenal cyclase will again make him poor. Right? It will take the phosphate. It will stimulate. It will convert ATP into cyclic AMP. This cyclic AMP is not so bad. Bad. This cyclic AMP is taken and it is given to that Anna protein kinase. Protein kinase who was sleeping but now he is active. When he is active, he will say, "Okay, okay, Gia, this is Gia gene ions and enzymes activated." and the body starts into the fighting mode right. and then once again that beta beta this alpha with gdp right he will be going back and once again to be going into the rest of this this process it keeps on getting the people down and on on this is stimulatory process right this is what happens Sympathetic system. Is this totally clear? Because now we'll be starting with second process, and that's how, at, by the end of our today's session, we'll see that how the balance is. Made. Name of this process. Name of this process is 
GPCR activation. GPCR activation. G protein couple receptor activation in what it will be does in the body. So we took the entire process all the way from the stimulation up to the changes which are made in the body. Now, if it tells yes, calcium channels open, so there has to be someone to close the calcium channel. Otherwise, calcium will keep on coming on and on and on and heart will keep on increasing its speed, 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 and then to but to what limit? At some point, it has to be stopped, then burst. So now comes the parasympathetic system. Parasympathetic. This parasympathetic system is a cool system. And here it will be using acetylcholine. This is the acetylcholine. That's the clear neurotransmitter for parasympathetic. Next time, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking in depth all the type of receptors of sympathetic and all the types of receptors of parasympathetic. That is that we'll see. And then we'll be going in step by step that what will happen to the skeleton, what will happen to the hard muscles, right? What will happen to those, uh, those smooth muscles, right? GIT again. And parallelly, then we'll be discussing the heart, right? Say for example, Kaya. We'll also understand the ECG. So I'll keep on showing you the ECGs also so that we'll be able to see live that this is what really happens. And this process occurs. So parasympathetic system acetylcholine, this is its another name is rest and digest. Name itself is telling rest and digest. Deliberately, I have avoided some of the points. So, for example, what will happen to the people? Now it is but of this when we want to fight, and when we want to fight, or when we are there about right. So we would like to run away. So will We'll try to find out that rasta kaha pe hai bhagne ka. Right? So we'll open our eyes big and then we'll see kaha hai rasta. Right? So that's where there'll be pupillary dilatation. If you have eaten pizza, right? Paid bhar ke khaya hai. So then will you be keeping big eyes open? We'll say, yaar aankhi khuli nahi nahi. Right? Feeling sleep. Right? Aankh band ho rahi. So that is our parasympathetic system. And sometimes we say, coffee I just had a coffee. Why coffee? Coffee is doing what? And you get the answer now. So here comes our, once again, back to our seven pass One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, and the action side. But here, this time, it is the acetylcholine which is coming. And it is acting on that center. So this is the activator. Our ligand is this time as type. Is this receptor same? No, this is not same. This is a completely new receptor, right? So there is a receptor which is which is re reacting on adrenaline or epinephrine. There is another receptor which is which is activated, which is happy by acetylcholine. Right? This is another receptor. So don't confuse. I always say parasympathetic system is our default system. So, default system. So, what is default? Default is if you don't do anything, it comes back to that level. So, here, now because the things are now activated, so we need to say we control with the control. I like welcome. So, comes over here this acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is activated. So, this is our action site. Action site. We zoom it. This is also a GPCR, G protein couple receptor. So here it is. Right? Same our alpha, our beta, our gamma, because it is a trimeric protein, a protein with a three parts, and they are connected. But this time we'll be putting I inhibitory. Right? So their function would be different. That function would be different. This is super interesting. This is into resting phase. Huh? This is also into its resting phase. Resting phase means it will be having what? Same GDP. GDP. Right? So this is a resting phase. Resting phase. Right? In school, you must have seen that some of the friends. Few friends, they say, Chal yaar. Right? 
पंगा हुआ है तो इनसे चल मार दी राइट दे गो लाइक दैट देर वुड बी फ्यू फ्रेंड्स देर से बॉस पंगा हो गया ठीक है आई एम कम एंड दे कम एंड दे सेटल टू टाइप ऑफ फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ डोंट वरी राइट आई एल सेटल Perfect, Donia. That is perfect. So the first process is the first process which we already discussed. That was related to sympathetic process or the sympathetic system, and the process which we are now discussing is related to parasympathetic. Right in our body, both the things they are in balance. Correct. So here comes. This is also our this friend who tells that boss, "Mat chinta kar." Right. Apne sambhal lenge. So this is that sambhal lenge. So he is just sitting silently and activated. Your phone has come, right? No problem. So this is activated. Activated. So when it is activated, same style activation is GDP that becomes GT. GDP. So in that, now the reaction would be this alpha here also, right? The alpha would say, "Get, shut up. Let me go." Right? This is connected with. The GTP. Right, Now, because he has to settle, right? He'll go where? He'll go to that big boss, right? Our big boss was what? Adenyl cyclase. Now, this adenyl cyclase will be in the full form, right? Fully activated, right? Adenyl cyclase will be fully activated because that is what he is doing all those work. This will go. And we'll say, "Us pangane, right? I am the inhibitory one. Stop working, right? So adrenal cycle is going to say, 'Okay, right? Now you can't take it. Why not? If this ATP, which was getting converted into cyclic AMP, this thing is stopped because when we stop, they say." This adenyl cyclase. It was the adenyl cyclase which was converting ATP into cyclic AMP, right? Not se bara hua bag. So he'll say that nothing doing now. Pesa nahi jayega, right? So this cyclic AMP is reduced, reduced cyclic AMP because our our this friend he said stop adenyl cyclase. Don't worry. So he'll say, "Thik hai, nahi kar." Right? When the cyclic AMP is decreased. Who will be affected? Protein kinase, right? Protein kinase would be affected. Protein kinase will say, "Ke paisa nahi to kam hai." Okay. Will not do anything. So the enzyme, the enzyme which was getting converted into the active enzyme, and then it was affecting the basic metabolism of the body, right? Basic metabolism of the body which was getting affected. Cyclic AMP reduced, so then this protein kinase that is also crashed, right? So this is not working, and everything starts coming down right? because it is not working. But one more thing: what about? Some of the enzyme to the, that was active, na, because it was having that phosphorylating. If you don't give protein kinase, so new will not be active. But what happened? Those who are already activated, उनको भी तो बंद करना पड़ेगा, because otherwise they will keep on working. If the calcium channels are open, so we need to close them. Otherwise, those ठीक है. By this process, new channels won't. But new channels won't open. But the old channels, so they are transferring. We have to stop the new ones, and at the same time, we have to close those which are already over here. Understand this: that the enzyme which was activated by that protein kinase. Right? I'll just write the full form so that there is no confusion. Protein, protein kinase. Uh, this reminds me of one email where he said, "Sir, can you write down the notes?" No, I cannot. Our all the discussions they will be exactly like this because for running long sentences, books are there. But if you understand this process, right, then the revision would be 
lightning fast right i'll show you yes i i got it right i'll show you how to revise it within within 5 minutes just remind me in case i forget so enzyme is activated by the protein kinase correct protein kinase is is simply like paisa hai to kaam hoga nahi to nahi hoga so done protein kinase will say nahi nahi cyclic amp nahi protein kinase but but what about those who are activated already jinko mess phone chala gaya ke kaam karo they are working so they are working means what they are having phosphates on their head they are working so now there comes this our apna this alpha gtp it's this is the parasympathetic system right it releases phosphatases phosphatases so this phosphatases does what it says knock off this phosphates right the moment it is knocked off this active will become inactive so we have done two things protein kinase stopped so that new are not activated and at the same time those active proteins they are blocked with by phosphatases so that they stop working right? new are not formed and those who are active they are inactive so everything submerged meaning time one more important process and this is the vital process what was happening was that atp right very clear atp was getting converted to what cyclic am cyclic am it is this cyclic am which was handled by adenine cyclic to be reduced okay, so adenyl cyclase adenyl cyclase right that is blocked so new conversion stopped right, so there is decrease in cyclic am but the cyclic am which is already present it has to be taken back into atp correct because what about those cyclic am which are already present so again unko bhi to wapas le So that is by one more. It's called as the phosphodiesterase. Diest. Phosphodiest. So when the phosphodiesterase, right, it acts. So this phosphodiesterase will put cyclic AMP back into ATP. Right, back into In fact, it converts into two AMP, you know, say monophosphate. Right? Very lazy, right? just can't work. So this was active, and it is this, this phosphodiester is put into two AMP. Very lazy. Right? So hard brain, something like that. Yara, yara, yara. So this is the phosphodiester because phosphodiester tells that these. these bandars right they will keep on activating they will keep on stimulating the heart and everyone right unko bhi to ban kar so this is the function of phosphodiesterase so two new things we learned one was the phosphatase right which will deactivate those enzymes which are already activated because of the sympathetic action and second the cyclic amp is those who were jumping and they were they were they are put back into the pinjra right by phosphodiesterase So now this is lazy. This was super active, and thanks to this phosphodiesterase. So these are the major things which happen. Now, obviously, when this is lazy, right? When phosphodiesterase is making them lazy, making us lazy, because then we don't feel like anyone. It is at this point comes our lovely coffee. This is our coffee. This coffee, right? Sometimes in exam you write, and then was one minute baki, and then the teacher is like, "Chalo, lao paper." Right? They say, "Was two minute, two minute." Right? Coffee tells they are 
डोंट टेक दिस बच्चे की जान डोंट वर्क फॉर सम टाइम लेट देम बी हैप्पी दिस इज व्हाट कॉफी डस कॉफी वुड ब्लॉक दिस फास्फोडाइज्ड स्ट्रीम्स सो दिस फास्फोडाइज्ड स्ट्रीम्स विल नाउ नॉट कन्वर्ट दिस साइक्लिक एएमपी इनटू एएमपी इट विल नॉट कन्वर्ट दिस एक्टिव इनटू बेसिक so this is the extra time which we get because that's why it is said that coffee it makes a window in that window you are very active and then once again you go back but you don't go back to that low level when we'll be learning the neurogenic drugs right, they do the ulta kaam much what they do is that these all addictive drugs they take you very high but when the effect wanes when the effect goes they take you so low right so that's why it is called as a huge spikes they go very high right and then when they go very low. it's the, at one time they were they are badsha after some time they they are like big high so such big mood spikes coffee it inhibits for short duration there is a small window it inhibits and then everything is back to normal right? so that is the importance of phosphodiene strips so coffee tea they may be these things now when we say strong coffee strong coffee means what you are just increasing the duration you are increasing the duration right? will coffee be affecting on other things no yeah, definitely coffee will be affecting they said that coffee leads to constipation right when taken more so where what it will do it will go say our parasympathetic system right which is working fine and it is telling that yes gdit right gastrointestinal tract you have to work coffee is coming and telling the parasympathetic system so right the sympathetic should work right sympathetic action right but in action ke chakkar right even the gdit is getting so gdit motility is is decreased and that is what leads to constipation When, when someone is taking it in more dose, over dose, extremely strong coffee, or or those black coffees, or sometimes when when it is said that if if someone wants to lose weight, right, someone wants to lose weight, they say okay, that go for black coffee. On that black coffee, you there are hundreds of coffees available. They will do what? They will just increase the basal metabolic rate, but it's at a cost. so how much to take you should understand that's that's why you know when when you asked in email so i said yes i love coffee but regarding the coffee what it really does i'll explain in class so this is the thing that this is how it really acts so far all clear anything you want to ask because this is the foundation once you have understood this now so then it will become so easy that the moment i say that this particular drug black tea black tea black tea is is good but it is uh, less powerful than coffee caffeine and tannin so their efficacy but yeah i'm i'm not against tea i, I do take tea sometimes ha huh, uh, stop what i was Not me. Just slip from my mind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Gym, right? Exercise, weight loss. When people drink large amount of coffee, and that also black coffee, and and yes, it gives that kick, but but it it has got then it starts with all those side effects. So anything in overdose, it's not. i would say music is much better if you want to do the exercise and then for the selection of the music slightly off the track for the selection of the music don't worry don't worry about kaun sa gana hai your brain is not understanding that your what your brain is understanding is beats beats so if you are running and your cadence cadence means number of steps per minute If if my cadence is 160, that is in one minute, it is like 160 steps. And if I take a music which is with 160 BPS, beats beats per second, 
each thrust. If it is 160, so then my body will be going into the auto rhythm, right? With every beat, right? The the legs will keep on. So, and if someone wants to use one one email, was that how can I practice? There is a very it's not at all costly. It is called as the metronome, right? Even I I won't tell you to even buy this device. Right? Why do you have to pay five there is a free app available even on your app store app store pe bhi hai and even on android free app right you just set it and then tuck 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 right you can just set it then when you start running so then you set the beat accordingly very soon you will know that at what what pace you are comfortably running you are not tired metronome metronome right naam kuch bhi hoga you just search for the metronome and you will get it that's the name metronome metronome is like this tuck 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 it is used for for uh, those uh, tuning guitars tuning any of the tar instrument and uh, it is basically a rhythm it is a rhythm constantly and uh, there are so many variations available and it is like they say in music they say khali and tali right so some you must have seen that people do it like this right so that is the music. It's a this tali, tali, and then sometimes it will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right. So these are like four beat notes. So depending upon which tal. So metronome. So many variations are available. But simple app. Don't spend money. Right? Don't go for the paid versions because free versions they'll be more than enough for your exercise part. More than enough. Right? Just set one and then. You just put it in the headphone, and this these apps they run along with the music. So you keep your music be on, on the phone, and you keep the metronome. So that will give you the rhythm. Later, what will happen? You will select, you will start selecting the music accord. At least in say in in Apple Music, so they give you that this particular music is with this much beat, right? This much beat. So just set the music. That that would be the best. So this is. A very, it is like a very effective hack for the body because you'll not be tired. You'll not even and and say if the body is tired, so obviously, right, you will stop running. But this is how you will know that you've got so much energy, you've got so much of power that you can utilize. Okay, so this was the game. This was the game between synthetic and parasympathetic. Now what we do is. Say we compare amne samne, right? So here is the sympathetic. Even if there is any doubt, it will be absolutely clarified at this point. So parasympathetic and a sympathetic and the parasympathetic. Right? So the difference. Neurotransmitters. In in case of sympathetic, that will be the adrenaline. And in this case, acetylcholine. So, if we really want to give some name to the receptors, right? name to the receptors. So, we'll be calling this receptor as adrenergic receptor. That's what we'll be discussing next time. Adrenergic receptors. We we'll, we we'll write receptors like this. We are talking adrenergic receptors. And when it will come to acetylcholine, so we'll be calling it. Polynergic receptors. Polynergic receptors. The second, our sympathetic, that was like GPCRGS, and we use over here GPCRGI. Because these symbols, they will be used whenever we will be discussing any of the processes, especially pathology, especially pharmacology and the medicine. Over here, who was the main one? It was the adenyl cyclase. Right? Adenyl cyclase was, cyclase was activated. It was activated. So adenyl cyclase was doing what it was just converting that ATP to AD, AMP to cyclic AMP. This was the final step. 
cyclic EMP and this was the cyclic EMP which was coming into action. Over here, what's the role of adenyl cyclase? Well, adenyl cyclase, in fact, we are in the right? We are in the So cyclic EMP would be converted back to EMP. Over here, that was protein kinase, our super big boss. And this protein kinase was leading to phosphorylation. Phosphorylation. <coughs> and this phosphorylation was that enzyme which was like Maramarasa enzyme. It is making it an active enzyme. Active enzyme. By phosphorylation. Right? And that's how it was active. In this case, who will come into picture? Phosphatase. Right? So this phosphatase, he will, this active, they will knock off this active enzyme and will convert into the inactive. Extra piece of note, extra piece of note is that this cyclic EMP, which is very powerful, right, is converted into EMP. Very, very easy. And that thing is done by phosphodiesterase. So phosphodiesterase puts everything back to normal. Adenosine monophosphate. AMP stands for adenosine monophosphate. So this is the game which keeps on running throughout the day, every minute, every second, non-stop, where they keep on keeping the things in balance. So I've saved this file. Next time, we'll be continuing from here. All right. Do revise this thing properly. Do things. Revise it properly. Understand it. So that when, when we talk about any of these terms, that it should be crystal clear in your mind that what is it here. Because when I say that, okay, now we are talking about, let's say, cholinergic drugs. Polynergic drugs. It means the drugs which will be behaving like acetylcholine. Right? The drugs which will be behaving like acetylcholine. So that's that's what we'll be understanding. Uh, in fact, we have not recorded this recording. We'll be going into the cloud. But uh, yes, revision. Revision will do it. Uh, those who have joined just today, practically speaking, say you have not lost much right? because we are constantly revising even the topics. But I would just say today's topic, yeah, I'll just revise. I'll just revise first. Right? Today's topic, understand it clearly. And, and the ground which you have lost, no worries, you will be getting it back. Somewhere, I know that by the end of this month, even if someone has missed any of the lectures, somehow they will be coming into repetition. They will be coming into repetition. From the 1st August, things will be going at a much higher pace. Not only that, every time big newer and newer topics will come. So if anyone is losing from 1st August, yeah, that would make a difference. Right now, don't worry much. Okay. High speed revision, literally under five seconds. Taking five seconds. Hmm. This particular topic is on my channel. This, this, it is over there. So in the receptors, name is also receptor one. Same topic, same thing is there. So let's start. Start. So we talked about cell membrane. Cell membrane is bilayer. Right? It is a lipid bilayer, and these are the receptors which we'll be discussing today. The ligand, ligand is something which will be activating this receptor. 
So we have got sympathetic parasympathetic system. This is stress, fight and flight response, and parasympathetic is rest and digest. In this is adrenaline, violent disorder. Parasympathetic it is acetylcholine. So small molecular weight substances, lipid soluble, and those who are uncharged, they can pass through the cell membrane. They can cross the cell membrane easily without any trouble. We have got the receptors for other those whose size is bigger or those who cannot cross. Right? So we have got the GTCR, G protein coupled receptors. These are the seven pass receptors. Then there are some enzymes which will be having one pass receptor, and then there are ion channels. Ion channels which will be allowing certain type of ions. Mm -hmm. See, for example, sodium potassium pump was one type of ion channel. Right? It was a pump. G stands for guanosine. There would be future receptors which will be activated on voltage, temperature, pressure, touch, all these things. Right? So it's a, an amazing system. GPCR, this is a ligand. Ligand in this case would be the adrenaline adrenaline which will be acting as the first messenger, right? To activate this is the action site. Inside the action site, this is how our alpha, beta, and gamma, they are attached with each other. They are attached with each other along with the GDP, guanosine, diphosphate. This is for the resting phase. This, there are three components to it is called as the trimeric phase, guanosine diphosphate. Once it is active, right, it will become GTP. When it is GTP, alpha tells that, bye bye friends, now I am a businessman, GTP and alpha, right, they make a complex. That complex moves to, that complex moves to adenine cyclase, right, adenine cyclase will say, chalo, give me this phosphate, right, and then I'll do this and that, it gives. And then GDP goes back to that original state, right? Original state. This is phosphate taken by adenine cyclase. He'll lose it. And this ATP is converted to cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP is like a real currency. This cyclic AMP, which is also called as the second messenger, this cyclic AMP will go and stimulate protein kinase. Protein kinase is literally the big boss, very powerful. It will be acting on genes. It will be acting ions enzymes. So gene expression is stimulated, ion channels are open so that calcium channels they can come. This is specific for calcium. And the enzymes they will be activated so that basal metabolic rate processes they will shoot. Meantime, this so this is the entire process and because it is acting on many areas so it is called as the versatile right biological amplification system. This GDP will go back to the old friends. Once again, they'll be going into the resting phase. But as the stimulus comes again, if they keep steady, steady, he will go again back to that and the whole process will get repeated. In case of parasympathetic system, which is the acetylcholine, rest and digest, it will act, it will act on this. This parasympathetic is the default system. Right? So it will activate again, resting phase, GDP is there. And as it is activated, once again, this is alpha GTP combination, adenine cyclase will be inhibited because it's an inhibitor protein. So ATP2 cyclic AMP converges, conversion stops, cyclic AMP drops, and this enzyme which was activated, that is deactivated by phosphatase by locking off the phosphates. They are back to that inactive state. So everything cool stuff. One important, this ATP which is to be converted to a cyclic AMP, Right? That was done by adenine cyclase, but this cyclic AMP it gets converted to lazy AMP by the phosphodiester. So this is also important. Coffee it inhibits phosphodiesterase so that they remain active for some time. Cyclic AMP they remain active for some time. So this is the comparison: sympathetic, parasympathetic, adrenaline, acetylcholine. This is stimulatory, inhibitory. Right? Then adenine cyclase is stimulated here. Inhibited. This is protein kinase, which has got several functions by the process of phosphorylation, right? And over here, it is the phosphatase which stops this process, and then comes the most important, and this is the cyclic AMP phosphatase trace. Coffee. That's four hours, four minutes fifty seven seconds. Right. So do revise it like that. Thank you so much. And see you next time. I'll put this file into our shared folder, right? Just within a minute so that you can have it. Thank you.
and C. Uh, see, I just send, I'll, I'll write, send those who are who are joined for the first time. This is the email address: T I W -L, L U R M B B S at gmail dot com. Just send me a mail. I'll send you the link. Okay, I'll just keep this thing on for. Right. Okay, so see you next time.